folks at home, welcome back to Sweet Home Alabama. It is a cool, crisp morning with the weather just below freezing at 28 degrees. And I swear that the deer in Alabama know when hunting season is in because this fine 12 point buck was just hanging out in broad daylight knowing that hunting season ended two weeks ago. Today's video is sponsored by the PowerPole Charge, and folks, I really love this new product. Not only does it act as a multi-bank battery charger, but it is the first ever bi-directional charge unit. So the charge is connected to all the batteries on your boat, and it can pull power from your trolling batteries to your cranking battery. We all have that buddy that only replaces their cranking battery every eight years. So you guys probably watched some of our videos from last month. We were on the St. Johns River. Lake George is massive. And of all places, we break down in the middle of Lake George. All right, folks, normally this would be a bad sign when you're out here on a body of water like this. Go ahead and let's, let's hear it. We have completely drained our batteries because keeping all these golden shiners alive. But fortunately, folks over at Power Pole generated an amazing tool for fishermen. So you see we got our three green trolling batteries on the bottom and the one orange cranking battery up top. We're gonna select this emergency start and give it just a minute. All right, we got it up to 13.4 volts. That should be plenty. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> the folks over at Power Pole are a lifesaver. All right, now instead of being stuck out here, we get to continue fishing. Let's go. Got him, yep. It seems to be the bank right here where the spawners are. I think that sun coming up in the morning shining on that bank. Still your best one for today? Trocar, getting it done. Oh man. Just had a pretty good bite right there. Nice thump. I was just about to set the hook and he spit it right out. Here you go. That little sucker's running right there. Had to convince him to bite it twice. He thumped it the first time through and came back and got it the second. A little nice little pattern here. A bunch of solid two pounders. All right, here's an in depth look at the baits we're using. We're using a primal vibe paired with a lime ice little dipper, another vibe with a white trash little dipper, and here's the big fish specialist. A skinny dipper with a trocar swim blade. That's gonna get the big girls. You can pick them all up at bamafrogs.com. Enjoy the wildlife aspect of it. Two casts in a row right there. This one's better. What we got here? Another nice female. This sunny bank is where it's at. Well, they have definitely just moved up there to spawn. Might have had that male bite first. Got him. Got the primal vibe. And that short piece and white with the little dipper on the back as the trailer on that one. Fatty. All right, let's go and get her back in. Ooh. Dangled it right there off that limb and he came up and ate it. I knew there was one on that island. <laughs> is it a good one? Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Josh is putting a hurting on the big girls today. Another solid, solid fish. Guys, if you hadn't tried out this Trocar swim blade, you're missing out. Because that just that little bit of extra action on the bottom of that swim bait is all it takes. Nice, got him. Look at that sexy shad right on the top lip. Got him. All right, Josh is killing it today. Got him. 
I hear you. Oh yeah, definitely the best fish of the day. Look at that. Good gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna help you land him if you need it. Why don't you tell me if which way you want to go with him? This is a giant. Oh my god. That's a giant, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. in the world have you just caught? Oh my gosh, dude. Turn him sideways. Look at that belly. That is one of the fattest fish yeah. I've ever seen. That's why we came out here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a PB, right? Yeah, that has to be. On the trocar swim blade, he's got a five inch skinny dipper. What a giant bass, dude. That's unbelievable. Folks, look at that. This bass actually has a big bass or either shad tail stuck down in his throat and he still ate that bait. Yeah. All right, folks, his personal best is 811. I don't know if it's gonna beat that, but here we go. Eight, 903, new PB, homie, I hear you. That is awesome. Nice one. Guys, I just don't even have words to describe how beautiful this fish is. That is a mega fatty nine pound or 9.03 pounds, new PB from my buddy Josh here. Let's go ahead and let her go. The fattest bass I ever caught, honey. <laughs> that is picture perfect. She's definitely gonna grow to be a big 10, 11, 12 pounder. There she goes. All right. Awesome, dude. I mean, I'd rather catch a bass fat like that than anything else, even if it was a six pounder. I love seeing bellies just bulging. You know she's ready to spawn. Here you go. Good one. Yep. The bite has heated up. That is what we're after. It's no nine pounder, but. I'll get you lipping for me, please. Since he's right back there with you. Awesome. The females are starting to bite. Look at that. She's definitely getting ready to spawn. Alrighty, I'm gonna put you right back over there so you can swim back to that bed. That first bite you got right here clued us in. There we go. There's another one right in there where you got your bite. That's a good one too. Man. <laughs> the bank bite is on. I think she's got it pretty good. I'm going to flip her. Three and a half. I ate it. Guys, you gotta love it. That's why we got up at daylight. Came out here in 28 degree weather because you're catching fatties. This is the time you wanna be fishing. February, right before they spawn. Here we go. Not slack in it. <laughs> Look at that. Just female stack about every 10 yards. You'll hit another one. There we go. Once that wind picked up a little bit, we swapped over to this vibe to get a little more action. Oh yeah. Might be my biggest one of the day. Vibe getting it done. Mm-hmm. Man, it's fun. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap this video up. If you're interested in any of these baits, check out links down in the description below. So one of the other really cool features I forgot to mention about the charge is the fact that since it's connected to all of your batteries, it uses the alternator on your motor to charge not only the cranking battery, but also your trolling batteries. So for you tournament anglers, this is definitely one of those new products that will maximize your time on the water.